Act of September 11th stamped into America's memory. It's a tragedy that can never be forgotten. Katrin Asaf joining us live at the Clinton National Airport with how much air travel has changed in the past 20 years. Well, Bob, Laura, a lot has changed prior to the 9-11 attacks. You used to be able to walk up to the gate, but for many people we spoke with earlier today, they say they don't even remember that time. The new international standard is you walk through a metal detector, you take your shoes off, and your bag goes through an x-ray. It's a system that the TSA says helps prevent tragedies like 9-11, but it wasn't always like that. It's become a normal routine. Check in for your flight, drop off your bags, and pass security. A process for millions of Americans daily. But Richard Clark remembers a time when things were different. Flying was fun. It was pleasure. 20 years ago, this wouldn't have existed. It took only a few moments to get on a plane, not hours. There was no... No checking, no nothing. We walked right in, walked right out. But the days of walking straight to your gate are gone, changed after the attacks on September 11th. Now every check and scan has a reason. For every security measure that we have in place, there was an incident that led to that. The TSA was created in November 2001, and in its short history has undergone an evolution to create the well-oiled machine we see today. The biggest change that people can see in 20 years is technology. 3D imaging has been the biggest update, tech that's used to peer into bags and speed up the process. It's an operation younger travelers like Eric Smith have never been without. It must have been just the Wild West, I guess. I don't know. Walking right up to the gate. Smith was alive during 9-11 and had traveled before, but could only recall times when it took a security checkpoint to fly. I have vague memories of childhood flights. But those checkpoints are necessary. A work that is never done even 20 years later. So those are the type of, of things that we do to make sure that it doesn't happen again. Now, another difference that Richard can remember being different 20 years ago was in the airplanes themselves. He says he remembers the cockpit door being open the entire time where passengers could peer in. Now, of course, that door is armor plated and locked at all times. Reporting at Clinton National Airport, I'm Katrin Asaf. Back to you. Katrin.